So, here's my latest build. I'm gonna kind of go over the parts in it real quick. Okay. Um, we got an Intel Core i5 4690K, 3.5 gigahertz. Corsair H110. I couldn't really find this. They don't have it on PC part later. So it's a Corsair H110 um, CPU cooler. Okay. So I'll just put that in there. Okay. Uh, an MSI Z97 Gaming 5 uh, motherboard. Okay. A G Skill Sniper Series 16 gigabytes of RAM, DDR3, 2400 memory. Uh, 480 gigabyte SSD. I don't, I mean, it's a GTX 970. I just chose the cheapest one because that's really all that matters is it's a GeForce GTX 970, so I put that one on here. However, down here, it didn't have this on here. It has an EVGA hybrid cooler uh, for the GTX 980 on it, so it's cool in that. So it's got a liquid cooled, which brings us to this. It's got this, it's liquid cooled on the graphics card and the CPU. An NZXT Phantom 820. Uh, this is a huge case. I have, this is a personal case I use, I actually use a white one for mine because I had like white water cooling tubes so I went with white but the black looks way better and I'll be honest with you, I put a lot of stuff in this case, but it was so easy because of how big this case is, and you really won't ever run out of room for anything you want to do. The Antex Earthwatts Platinum 650 Watt, 80 Plus Platinum, which I didn't know they made titanium, but apparently they do now. But 80 Plus Platinum is supposed to be like better than 92%. I couldn't even imagine what titanium is. Titanium is probably like 98%. But, um, anyway, Platinum used to be the highest until Titanium came out, apparently. But Platinum is, like, that means the amount of energy that's coming out of your wall and going into your computer is, like, 92% efficiency or, or better. Which, you know, like, anything without an 80-plus certification is probably giving you, like, 60 to 70%. So it saves you money on your energy bill, and it feeds your computer pure energy instead of a bunch of crap, which is good for any electronic component, but especially your computer. So, platinum is the shizzle. Uh, I just put this on here because some people will pay for Windows, and uh, I get so many of these computers that I just get free keys all the time. So I have a Windows 7 on here, which we can upgrade to 10, and 10 is cheaper than 7, so I just put 10 on here on the list to, you know... Anyway, why would you buy 7 when you can get 10 for free, or cheaper? If you buy, you know, 7, you can upgrade to 10, so. We can upgrade this to 10, but some people don't like, so whoever I sell it to, if they want 10, I'll upgrade it to 10. If they want 7, well, here it is at 7 right now. Um, TP-Link, I just put this in here, I mean, I, just, I don't know if it's the same Wi-Fi adapter. It's a freaking Wi-Fi adapter, so whatever, there it is. Uh, I chose the cheapest one because it's $12.11, so. This computer right here, if you were to build, would cost you $1,484.09 apparently, and that's after rebates and all that jazz. You could probably take off this, you know, no one's really going to pay $150 for the hybrid cooler, but that's how much it cost, and it's on there, so I threw that in there. So you can take that off $1,330 um, without the, still a lot of dang money, a lot of money. Really good parts though, um, and a sick build, so look at it for a second this is without the side panel on because it looks freaking awesome that way and there's a lot of features on this case so uh, you can watch a review or something if you want to I'm trying not to go over all the features of this case I'm gonna turn the lights on a little better I have that side panel off to show you my wiring that I've done I'll go ahead and go over that real quick Boo Boo the Destroyer of Worlds. Boo Boo is the Destroyer of Worlds. He loves screwdrivers. He loves screwdrivers. Here, play with the... Play with this. Play with that. There you go. Alright. So, um... So much you can do with this. I wired all this up to where these wires aren't all over the place. So... Ow, stepped on a toy. So, 
You can see the wiring job I really haven't finished yet. But you can kind of see. I got these going right here and that goes into the tray. But I mean, no matter how you do a wiring job, it's pretty much gonna look like this. Especially with this one, it's got so much extra stuff in it, but whatever. Like I've made it to where you can easily manage each one. I'll probably cut off these things. But this is like there's like a 12, I think. Yeah, there's a 12 fan controller inside of here. What's really cool about it is like you can make them go higher. Like that's the highest level, I think. Oh wait, no, yeah, that's yeah. You can hear it spin up and I think that's changing from top. Yeah, see, it says it right here. It says, like, front side, top, inside, and rear. But you can choose all of them, I think. How do you choose all of them? You can turn them all up at the same time. Maybe I'm missing that button. I don't know what it is, but you can turn. The top one is the one that I have for, um, I have the top one set for, there's a 240 millimeter fan right here, and there's two 120 millimeter fans on the radiator, right? On the water or the radiator for the CPU. So let's press the button. You can hear it turn up. And the cooler goes down to 26 degrees Celsius. So, um, and then you can turn it down. So that's cool. You can control all your fans from right up there. That's cool. And then, obviously, the coolest part of this case. So cool. Besides it being huge. Let's turn this light off. Maybe it'll look better. I don't know. Um, is there's a knob in here. You can change every, to every color. Let me turn my other light off. Let's go to white. Let me turn the other light off. Anyway, so yeah, that's cool. Super awesome, cool, fun time. Um, okay, so that's the H110 right there, and I have the coolers going up right there, and I have the cooler on the, so this is GeForce GTX hybrid cooler, it's a 980 cooler, but it works on the 970, and then have that obviously going up to that radiator right there, you got the Antec 650 watt platinum, there's one of the sticks of RAM, I'm going to put the other stick in later. Um, 480 gigabyte SSD is in there under all the wires. Kind of hide all the wires right there so you don't see them hanging out right here. That's what I'm going to do with these probably. And these and these. I'm going to hand that right there. Um, and then you have the thing. The cool thing about this motherboard is it has like a vein. That's coming down, which you can't see that well, but the vein comes down because that's like some killer audio or some crap. And it comes down through the motherboard. So it gives a little red lighting in there. Well, is it 27 degrees? So the CPU is at 26, 27, 26 degrees Celsius. So it keeps everything nice and cool, nice and quiet, and you can turn the fans up. And I do like, I have this case, and so I'm trying to get into voiceover acting. Like, thank you for calling. But, um,. So when I record stuff, I can turn all the fans off on my computer so it's making no noise. You can't hear it now, but I mean, there's a little bit of feedback. So you can turn all the fans off, which is what I do when I do recordings. So I turn all the fans off. So much room to add whatever you want. Um, I guess we'll take a look at the back. Why not? Let me turn the light on again. So, uh, you got your PS2 port right here for, you know, mice, 
USB 3.0, two USB 3.0, another two USB 3.0, killer Ethernet, uh, 7.1 audio. It's got built in. It, this is for the. If you don't want to use a graphics card, you can actually use you know the onboard GPU onside the CPU. Uh, this graphics card can support one, two, three, four, six displays. If you have a DVI, a dual DVI splitter. So it's got three uh, display port connections, one HDMI, and one DVI. And if you do do triple monitor setups, I have the display port to DVI adapters. If you'd like to do that, I also have a splitter for the DVI. And then, let me go ahead and grab. Oh wait, let me turn these lights on. Okay. Oh wait, I just turned the outside lights. There's so many configurations. Alright, alright, LED mode. Okay, now we're both completely quiet, silent, gone. Only one inside, one outside, or both C's. Anyway, um, I'm going to show you what it looks like with the side panel on. And the side panel has a 230 millimeter fan on it, or 200 millimeter, whatever. So that'll blow directly onto your graphics card, which will cool your graphics screen more. And you can add another, you can add two more fans right here. You can add another fan right here. You can add another 230 millimeter fan right here. It's got connections for 12. You can make this a push pull configuration. But it's already keeping your cooler in 26 degrees, 27 degrees Celsius. Like, you don't need to cool it. Just leave it alone. <laughs> You're good. This is good. This is good. 